Boy rocking the purple is after my own heart. All right, we're gonna do a little livery shout out. We haven't done this in Pikes Peak in a while, so it's always cool to see the night, the night mode. Take some pics. We got the classic sandwich. TG twin pink color. Why don't we do this then? Um, you know, why don't we create like a little half circle? Well, that sounds kind of dope. We'll go like around this pole. Yeah, yeah. Check, check, check. I'm still figuring out this setup. Yeah, TG, why don't you go in the middle, like right in front of this pole? This pole, I mean this building. The door. And Ramen, yeah, why don't you go next to me? Password is 2023, guys. <clears throat> yeah, Ramen, why don't you park next to me and... TG, you can be like straight up in the middle if you want, because it kind of matches the uh, grid life thing. Grid life pole. Check, check. Check, 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 check. I don't want to be too hot. It's too cold. Too hot. Check, check. One, two, one, two. All right, that sounds like a good level. I'm not able to monitor myself. Why am I not? Check, check, check. All right, I think that's good right there. Check, check, check. Yeah, this is a whole different setup, so it's just, it's gonna be a little different for me, but I'll try not to blow out anyone's ears. Yeah, there's a good, there's a good photo. Malice, what up? <clears throat> Thanks guys for coming in. I know it was a long time coming. <clears throat> I should probably record this. I know Malice got some dope liveries. I don't think he's gotten the livery roll. But damn, look at this thing, guys. It's got like little stars in the... Uh, background I like the chrome on the flat black oh he's switching it up on us what is this sugams is this like the uh, the chain from Mario it says pack demon on there not quite sure if I remember that. All right, Mikey P with a new wood grain livery with the uh, leaves. Gold, I think gold looks good on you, man. Let me take another photo. Dope. All right, I gotta give it up to sh uh, to um, Malice, man. That's a real clean tribal livery right there. That's the kind of style that always goes well with any car, and it takes a lot of time to put that together and make sure it's like really well balanced on the car as well as working with all the lo logos so you get our livery shout out today after Shugums we'll post your photo on IG um, 
after we get the awards all posted up. Um, but for the most part, everyone behind TG, come like over here and like, let's get a nice group photo. So I'm gonna do an IG style one. So make sure you guys are in frame, kind of just scatter around and be in, in the frame right here. Yeah. Yeah, somebody go to my left. That'll that'll do it for now. I think we have time to uh, play a little game. I don't know. I know TG. I mean, I know TD says that they're going to stream at 7:30, so we don't have time to do a whole round of drift sumo. But if you guys have any grudges or anything. You guys have somebody you want to battle. We could do a... Alright, Surge, get in here. Get next to TG. Or behind Ramen. Yeah, yeah, you're good right there. So what we're going to do is... We're just going to pick a few battles. Whoever wants to go up against somebody we will do a one one or two drift sumo battles. It's kind of fun. If you guys ever watch sumo, the whole idea is just to knock your opponent out of the ring. It's a fun little game. We can do one or two rounds of that. Oh, I killed my NOS. Make sure I get everybody in here. <clears throat> All right, Malice, you stay there. I'm just going to light your car up. That's a cool shot. Oh, we got the, uh, the, the tribute livery for Kem Black. Kenny from the block. I gotta light that up, Mikey, for you. Nice work, man. That thing came out sick. You got the monster logo. Pretty sick. Got the rear shots here. I'm gonna be popping these cough drops in because uh, it's been a while since I talked this much after I got my fever under control and my cough under control so <clears throat> sorry for the ASMR unintentional so we'll pick this corner here I want to see you guys get as close as you can in this wall try to make an outside line and just run the grid live course so I'll, I'll fly around. I'll do a couple. You guys pretty much know Grid Lifeline. And that first corner, we'll see who can do the best backing. Let's see what you got, TG. It's just a pretty much a jam session, whoever has the best backing. And you don't even have to do the full course. If you want to go back to the start, you can just to get a, just to save time. But just don't go the opposite way block someone's view. Ooh, I spun out. All right, let me park my car here so I can light the track. Oh, TG with the 360. Drift Limbo. Yeah, that would be fun. I think it's better when we have more people, though.
All right, for the Pikes Peak Best Backy, let's go, Shugums. Ooh, big flick. Nice run. All right, Serge, you want to compete in the Best Backy? You got to throw it in. We're not doing the 360 challenge, TG. <laughs> so you're getting deducted for that. All right, Shugums, a little squirrely there. Let's get another view. Malice, throw it in deep, throw it in long, throw it in hard. Let's see what you got. Delivery showcase winner malice. Can you throw it down? Nice surge. Remember, it's a best backy, so you don't have to do the line if you don't want to. You can actually just cut through the course if you want. Just make sure you get close to this wall. Yeah, Mikey. Yeah, let's bypass that line if you guys don't want to do it. Yeah, Shugums, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. I think Shugums won the last, the last challenge too. The last 360 uh, challenge, so. He's good for best backy, I'm sure. Yeah, you guys can pass that first corner and just go straight for the wall here. Go into this green spot. It's all about style. Big impact. There we go. Woo, Mikey. TG got the Frederick Osbo super out. You know, he won last time in Monroe with that car. He's got that thing set up. So you guys better watch out. I'm looking for uh, big things from this car. All right. Shugums is looking strong in the Mustang, though. Ooh, okay. That's our best one right there, Shugums. Nice, Mikey. Whoa, going through the grass now. Damn. I got to I gotta turn the player tags off. I'm recording some of this. Ooh, that was hot. This is getting heavy. Big flick, Shugums. Followed by TG. Oh, cooks it too much. Nice malice. A little too shallow. Here comes Surge in the RX-7. All right, we got to get started with the tournament soon here. 6.30, so last and final run. Nice initiation. Oh, Surge. Shug. Oh, no. You guys are going too far out wide. All right. So far, it's up to Shug and uh, TG. Who's that, Mikey V? Okay. Nice entry. Damn. All right, Shug. If nobody comes up with a better one, I think you might win two drift games in a row. Dang, Malice. Too hot. Too hot. Here he goes for the final run. Surgeon Shug. Damn. Too, too wide. Too wide. All right, we captured the first one, though, so I got to give it to you, Shug. Congratulations. You win for our second consecutive time. 
the best backy on Pikes P. Congratulations, my guy. Yeah, because I don't want the music over the engine, sweet engine sounds. Here we go, Foxy and Malice. Big flick initiation, matched by Foxy in this big body Mustang. Look at this insane chase run off the rip. Big old Mustang in this tight technical course, but Malice overcooks it and gets on the barriers, and those things will just chew you up and spit you out. Here he goes. Reinitiation back on the back straight, does a chicane. Nice extension from Foxy. Taps the inner clip there. Now it's to the final sweeper. These barriers are just calling for you to, begging you for them to be tapped. But man, they will swing your car around. No questions asked. Look at this. Switching it up sideways malice in the chase. Let's see who can match that angle in the chase position. Coming around the second S. Big, big gap established here from Foxy, but closing in, reeling him in there is Malice on the back straight where we get a lot of speed on this back chicane here. Gets a little into the grass, does some lawn clippings. Oh, and smacks Malice out of the truck, trying to get in the groove there. Did not quite know where he was going with that, so let's see what it comes down to, though. Big aggression from Foxy and a little, little mistake there in the chase. So it'll be Foxy moving on, though, real close, 94 to 122. Oh, we got the 36. I think this is sideways low with Mikey P. Nice initiation, real good proximity on that back bumper, switching it back, just giving him enough from the transition. Smoking up those Falcons here on the S's. Big door dive right there. Falls off just a little bit, leaving him room to transition. Mikey P looking really strong, but you can't have a good chase without a good lead. And they are doing just that, mimicking every step of the way. Nice chicane here. Shutting it down into the final sweeper. Big, big, big entry there. A little too much sauce on that last sweeper. Cutting out the combo. It could all look so good until the very last barrier, man. Unfortunate for Sideways. Here, not getting the grip that he wants. Shooting out a little wide. Hopefully he can reel it in. But Mikey P is definitely getting away from him. Decides to cut in a little close. Gets hung up on those rumble strips. Now Mikey P is making a run for it. Dashing it into this chicane. Oh, big contact, not shutting it down enough and scrubbing enough speed here. Getting a little too aggressive, throwing caution at the win. Mikey P is definitely going to advance for that one. Great, great chase run from Mikey P, but sideways low. We still have more events here. I think we have more time. I don't think Surge, uh, I think Surge dodged a bullet here. Looks like TG disqualified. <clears throat> giving him a chance to proceed. I know TG is a real nice guy. He could take any of us out if he wanted to. But he decided to, I guess, gift our boy Serge around. Nice little solid run. I saw Serge qualify earlier today. Put on a really good run here. So we'll see if it's enough to take him to the final steps on those podiums we'll see in just a minute here moving on to our final battle with sideways malice or foxy and mikey p mb battle all right straight line approach there from mikey p but big big flick from foxy gets into the door just a tiny bit has to respect it Coming down into the final S turn, now into the back straight. Doesn't get out to those barriers, but real good speed, real nice angle. Oh, Mikey V holds onto that a little too long, almost shoots off course, has to shut it down, regather himself here. Does a nice 360. You know, he, he's hitting himself on the head for that one. Now switching it up. Battle two with Foxy in the chase. 
Nice, nice lead here from Mikey P. Foxy sending it a little too deep. Gets into the door of that red Supra. Switching it back around. Big, nice outer zone from Mikey P. Foxy waiting for him to get on the gas here. Ooh, nice chicane. Foxy doesn't expect it. Almost gets shot off the track, but good recovery. Real close battle. GG's in the chat, boys. I love to see it. <clears throat> I'm going to get my cough drop in. Woo. Our second battle in the final four. Who do we got? Surge and Shugums. Big contender here. Shugums is looking strong in Irwindale. Let's see what he got. Let's see what he's got on Pike's Peak Red Light. Taking a nice conservative approach, not getting too aggressive and getting swung on on this RX-7's back bumper. Woo! <clears throat> All right. Great job there from Surge. I think we're going to see a big difference in power here when we look at Shugum's in the lead. But Surge, with this technical track, it could be the equalizer. He might be able to stick with him there. Oh, gets into the side fender. Nice outer zone there. On those barriers here, into the back straight. This is where we put down the power. He's going to extend it all the way out through that back straight. Dips right by that cone. Great job from Shugums. <coughs> now, that was a lead run. That was a 100-point lead run if I've ever seen one. Here we go into the finals. It is Foxy and Shugums, guys. You don't usually see this, but it is a great treat. Nice to see a mix in the players on this podium. Let's take a look here. Shugum's looking to make the dive here any second now. Decides to play it safe. Stays close to that inner zone. Hanging back just a little bit. Two to three car legs as Foxy gets away here in the lead in the 69 Mustang. Real good job on this outer zone. Gets all of that barrier. Just tags it so slightly. That deserves a cinematic replay my guys great job on this good lead good chase no major mistakes this is what you want to see when it comes down to the final battles in these tournaments great outer zone there getting all that back bumper on the barriers on such a narrow track where you gotta kind of dip into the grass to connect some of these back straights and then holding all that speed into this back section. That is not an easy feat. Wow. Gee, geez. It can go to either way. I'm guessing Shugums has a little bit of advantage. He's showing a lot of speed coming into this track. As you can see here, Foxy just can't seem to find a grip there. Oh. Gets real aggressive, nice door dive on this back section. Hopefully he can stick with him through this tight, tight chicane, but he doesn't scrub the speed enough. Has to respect this transition, get off the gas and get back on. Doesn't quite make it out alive. We'll check the medics and see if he's okay. Hopefully he can walk away from that one. My guess, I would say if I had to be a judge, you know, Shugum's definitely had the cleaner lead and chase. But my, my goodness, Foxy put on a heck of a battle here in this lead, putting it down for Shugum's to get all up on the door. I think Shugum's did slow down really, really more than he should have, but he was definitely playing it safe, didn't want to risk it 
but Foxy, you gotta, you gotta get on those brakes. All right, so there's our first battle done and dusted. Congratulations, Foxy. Real close. Man, he pulled out the win, man. He sealed the deal. I was expecting Shookums to win, but man, by two, three thousand, four thousand 4,000 points, that's really close in this game. So that is amazing. Um, Yeah. Good job. Great battle, guys. Something smells like it's burning. I hope it's not my PC that's burning. All right, so I'm going to update these points real quick. You guys grab a, grab a drink. We'll count these points over. Mr. Diva, welcome. <clears throat> All right, this is a revenge battle with Foxy and Malice again. Running it back on Gridlight, 3000 HP. Same car, same track, same channel. Everyone knows everyone's style. That's what's so great about these practice tournaments. Everyone's going to get a lot of data here to bring into the series. So as you can see here, this track here on this back straight is very tricky because players can extend that straight into the next corner or they can add a little switch back so you never know here we go battle number two Foxy in the lead big initiation tracks it out wide Cuts it in a little tight here. Oh no. Malice gets caught, caught up on the rumble strips again. Trying to cut the line here, but throws his car off balance. Here now cutting through the grass. Trying to extend this. Good job there from Foxy. Good transition. Oh, gets in the back door of oh, Foxy. Malice gets clipped. Definitely not wanting to get too close because that'll cut off your combo and your points multiplier so foxy moves on again my gp here now with mr diva let's run it back all right okay house of drift representing the new team here started from mr diva let's see what he can do the Thrilla in Manila. Big backy from Mikey. Recovers really well. Gets back on the door. Nice outer zone there from Mr. Diva. Taking it all the way back. Here we go. Back to where we started. Oh, Mikey P getting a little shook up here. Trying to match the speed and angle, but gets a little too much. Coming in hot into that final sweeper. A little celebratory. 360 at the end. Nice from Mikey P. Big lead here. Established. Diva not getting on the throttle. Getting caught. Sleeping at the line. Hopefully he can cut through the grass here somewhat and get back on the door. Reeling in this red Lunar New Year. Supra. But Mikey P. is just not able to get in striking distance. Hopefully this last and final sweeper Tags that inner code, big outside zone wall ride from Mikey B. Tags that outer barrier. Hopefully it doesn't be his detriment. Oh, it looks like Mikey B will be moving on. Congratulations. Here we have sideways low and surge. Our friend from Orlando making all the way here in Pikes Peak, Colorado. Rocking the Mishimoto Focus. Again, Surge's nice switch back right there. Back in formation on that forward focuses door. Surge really great here in this chase position. Able to anticipate and time these transitions very well. Considering they've never faced battle before. Great 
job until the announcer's curse. I said it too soon. Gets a little too caught up on the chicane. Leaves a lot of points on the board there. Switching it up, we got Surge in the lead. Oh, gets into the side of the focus from sideways. Sideways getting in the grass, shoots himself out a little wide. Trying to recompose himself, get back into this Ace of Spades door. Almost spins it around, but now trying to reel him back in on this back straight. These cars have been coming in way too hot, not mining these barriers and getting tossed up and thrown and spit out. But great job there from Surge. I think he might be taking the advantage there. All right, Surge and TG going into the final four. Mikey P and Foxy for Team NB. Let's see what they got. Foxy winning the last tournament just by a sliver of 5,000 or so points. Here, uh, looks like nobody's holding back, throwing it all on the track. Mikey B cuts it through the grass. Trying not to let him get away. Waiting here for Foxy to switch back into this straight. But, oh man, Mikey just gets two left behind here. Hopefully he can get back in the frame. Great job, Foxy does not hit the barriers this time. So that's gonna give him a lot higher score. Advantage probably goes to Foxy on that one. But, uh, can all change here if we look at this lead from Mikey P. Throws it deep into that first corner. Nice initiation. Definitely looking solid here. Able to get all of these barriers. Throw that back onto those barriers and get those close call points. Looks like Mikey P. Does a nice chicane there. Sets him up for the final chicane. Good job there from Foxy, but he's getting dropping back a little bit two to three car lengths real close battle there but i think mikey p is going to be taking his trip into the finals against tg let's see how it plays out with surgeon in the final four surgeon for his first event here with tdc good job man thank you so much for joining the series we look forward to seeing you progress and you can definitely see he's throwing down with the big dogs Getting a taste of what's to come here in 2023. TG just riding that door, pushing him across the line. TG decided to take a short question mark. But no, it looks like he just throws a 360 there. He knows his lead run is enough to set him into the finals. So Surge, this is the man to beat here. TG is looking stronger than ever. Killing it on the leaderboards, getting 400 Ks on Tunnel Edge. Our Hakone special winner and the winner from last event, Irwindale, the icebreaker, and now the Orlando opener. Limbo King here just sending it to the moon, no holds barred, all the way, full HP. It's amazing how much grip you can put into this card and hold on. Let's like a, take a look. Oh, wait. Let's look at the replays on the finals with Mikey P instead. Not a bad run there, Surge. Congratulations on a nice third and fourth place. Here we go into our final battle. Good life. 3,000 HP. TG versus Mikey P. Let's see what you got. Big flick from Mikey P. Nice initiation. Air TG creeps on in, gets into the door, rubs the paint. Big switch back here coming from Mikey P. Great, great line on that outer zone and still maintaining drip here. Good chicane. Mikey P getting away here from TG. It looks like TG is just scrambling, but Trying to get back, gets away from him just a little bit. But still in that fight. Battle number two. TG decides to take a little excursion off track to get some speed. Let's see if it pays off for him. Not quite sure if it did. Oh no, TG spins out. Loses drift. Mikey P doing this 100 point lead run. 
beautifully done in this Supra Yokohama tires. 360 from TG and still maintains drift, but gets into the barriers. <laughs> and the crowd is going wild. <sighs> One more time for TG. I love it. This guy can be serious and be all about business when it comes down to these fun events. He's not afraid to have a few laughs here, put on a show. What a great guy. Mikey P, I think is our champion for grid life 3000 hp let's make it official here yeah it is tg no i was wrong i never know what's gonna happen in these games man they look like you can go one way or the other but man i'm curious to see how it all went down there because mikey p looked like he had a real solid chase and lead run but just the speed and the capacity at which you get these points accumulated tg has got the tunes he's got the grip and he definitely has the crown for pike speed grip light 3000 hp possibly shooting himself to the top spot on our leaderboard oh, amazing Sideways low. And I guess I'm up against TG. You know what, TG? I'm going to battle you now. And give you give you a little taste of your own medicine. No more freebies. <laughs> oh, you didn't know I could do it like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't even know this track layout. Where, where do I go next? All right, all right, let's get it, let's get it. Oh, shoot. Wow, I didn't crash. That's a win in my book. Shoot, I haven't played this game in months. Damn, whoa. Don't look at the score, guys. Don't look at it. I, it there's something in my eye, okay? Gosh. I can't see right now. It's my allergies. All right, this guy is quick. Oh my goodness. This guy's zooming. What? What kind of what kind of what kind of wizardry is this guy's hacking for sure? Alright, alright. Come on, TG. Damn, that guy is stupid fast. I I got probably got doubled up, probably doubled up my score. It's your favorite layout, nice. I like Grid Life. That's my favorite layout. I think this one's cool too. Not as com complicated as Alpine Slide or Inner Loop, which we haven't done yet. But that's going to do it for me, boys. I'm going to pack it on home, and uh, I'll see you guys at the bar. I'll, I'll get you guys first rounds on me. <clears throat> All right. There's my TDC career down the drain. Whew. Okay. Mikey P and Malice. Let's see what you got. I try to I try to fend off TG for you guys. I I did the best I could. I couldn't make any promises though. Y'all gonna have to take them on. Here we go. Big entry from Malice. Gets on the brakes. Really diving down this bank, having to scope some speed into the infield section. Oh, gets caught up here on the bumper. Mikey P almost ended his run early, but still in the fight. Trying to get on this inside line to get on the door of this E92. Malice is just cruising in the lead here. Good, good transition. Chokes up a little bit. Mikey P closing it on in. Striking that final blow. Let's see how it's going to stack up against. Oops. Malice's chase run here. Giving him some ground. Not quite 
slowing down, gets into that door of the Supra, but now into the infield, gets a little too aggressive, not quite transitioning where he should. Gets knocked off just a little bit now here, but reeling him in into this final right-hand sweeper. Mikey P, good job on this mid to outside line there, getting all those clipping points. Great job, a little mistake there from Malice in the chase position. Great lead run from Mikey P. It's gonna be a close one for sure. Oh my goodness. Mikey P takes the win, 246 to 213. Shugum's in sideways low, here we go. What's the, what's the, what's the scenario? Mikey P is in the final four. All right, Shugum's back in the mix here. Again, sideways, taking out the BRZ. And Shugum's almost taking himself out on the wall, coming into the infield. First left-hand sweeper right here into the S's. Good transition from low. Now left foot breaking, not trying to get too aggressive. Taking out the cones, but oh no, low. Gets into the barriers, not slowing down quite enough here. Now putting down the throttle, trying to get away from him. Gets onto the rumble strips, almost spins it out. Big, big, big battle here. Taking the gloves off, a lot of contact. Real nice, aggressive battle. Let's see if they can clean it up here. No, sideways, Cots leaping at the line. Mikey P, no, Shugums is out there in front, trying to get all of these outer zones, and he takes himself out. Takes a tumble through the weeds, coming back from Grandma's house. Okay. Here we go, Lowe's saying, come on, let's get, let's go. Where are you at, buddy? I'm waiting on you. Now comes Shogun's back from the forest into this left-hand sweeper, doing a lot better job, not getting into those barriers this time. Now the chicane here is getting everyone mixed up here, not timing the chicane quite well enough. Everyone not quite in sync on this last turn here. But hopefully we can clean it up into the final four battles here. It looks like Sideways is going to get by. 13,000 points. Oh, man. Foxy, what do you got for us? Here comes Nathan. A little late, just getting off work, I believe. Uh-oh, Nathan doing the little chase glitch here. Unfortunate. Not able to give us a fair fight. Unfortunately. So we're going to see Foxy hopefully move on. Oh, no. You got to let me know, Nathan. Is that still bugging out with the, with the internet? I'm not quite sure. You guys saw what TG did against me. Let's see if Mikey P can put up a better fight. In the final four battle, here we go. Super battle. These guys were tussling earlier on Good Life, but no, Mikey P throws in the biggest flick and throws TG off the track. Controversial entry here. Hopefully Mikey B can sustain some points on the board. I'm not quite sure if he can if the game consider that a spin, but it could possibly well have held on to his points. But oh, unfortunate TG gets thrown off the track. Let's see if he can recoup some points <laughs> into his lead run. It looks like he might just take away this home because Mikey P is going the long way around the track here, taking us through a tour of Grid Life's finest umbrellas. <laughs> now, we don't want to see these battles go down like that, but man, it comes down to the first entry. If you don't time it right, your run is done, unfortunately. So, we don't like to see it go down like that, but that's just how the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. So, 
We'll see TG in the finals. Who's he gonna face? Let's take a look in this final four battle with Mike, Nate Dog, and sideways. Spitting some tires on the starting grid, not getting the grip down, but let's see if he can hold on to it in drift. Does a good job really getting on the outer zone. Let's see if he can put on the proximity as Nate Dog does a great job here in the lead in this Supra. Sideways low, cutting it in a little bit. Big transition here from Nate. Does an extra chicane, so throws off sideways. Unfortunately, he gets bumped by that Supra. Can we do this again? I guess we can. I don't see why not. All right. We can do inner loop if you guys want to go back to that. Now the final four battle here left to decide who's going to meet TG in the finals. Nate Dog takes it nice and easy. He knows this track is such a tricky one. Those first initiations, you guys risk it for the biscuit, but man, if it can't execute that, ooh, you send yourself home packing early. Here he goes, now back into the fight, sideways low, back in the lead. Let's see what kind of transition he's gonna put down here. One, Manji, two, Manji, off the track again. Miscalculating that, that's just how drifting is. One second you're in and second you're out. All right, but great job for making it into the final four. That's gonna be Nate Dog in the finals with TG. A nice close battle. Hopefully we can expect from these guys. Yeah, Pike's Peak is a real tricky one because that first initiation, it's dark, it's so far away. There's not really that many track markers for you to gauge when to initiate, but you just got to use that muscle memory <laughs> just like that. It can go uh, off the rails pretty easily, as you can see. All right, we're going to wait for these guys to get back on track. Hopefully they're okay. We'll have the medics take a look at them. <clears throat> no, we don't want to send anybody home with any concussions now. But both making major mistakes on this lead and chase run, it's going to be heavier on the lead driver. So I'm pretty sure TG might just have this one in the bag due to Nate's lead run. We don't have a chase run from Nate again. So this will be Nate Dog or TG's victory lap. We'll give him the crown once again. Congratulations there, TG. You are our Pikes Peak champion, two-time Grid Life and Pikes Peak champion, 2023 unofficially. We haven't done Alpine Slide yet. We can do that. Why don't we do that? There it is. What a roller coaster ride of a track, guys. You guys killed it. Amazing upsets. I would have liked to see Mikey P get past that one, but uh, unfortunately, he dog came in to throw some wrenches into the plan. So we'll get these points updated. And we'll go to Alpine Slide. I think uh, Nate Dog just got the record of the most barrel rolls, so we'll give him that. Congratulations. I think he's up uh, against Ghost Bit for that one. Thanks again joining for joining us again on TDC's fun exhibition friendly tournament at Pikes Peak. Proximity and Prosperity. We, um... We're gonna go into the final round, Vandals and Phantoms only. Sorry, wrong game. Um, but we hope that you enjoyed this and we'd love to see you join the, the series. It's an open series. Anybody can enter, you just gotta qualify. Sign up in the Discord below. And if you're watching this and you're wondering what all this is about, the game is Torture for Playing. Download it free on Android, iOS, PC, available on Steam. We're gonna get into our final battle of the night. Pikes Peak 
sorry, Grid Life, Pikes Peak, Alpine Slide. Let me just rattle them all off. I'll get it right. Now, we've seen TG dominate the series in the offseason here on these friendly exhibition battles, but Foxy's coming close. Sugums could be a good contender to match his prowess on these Supras. I haven't seen him bring the S2000 yet. Maybe he's saving that, his secret weapon, for a little later. Did he bring the S2000 out? I think he did earlier. But there we go. We got Sugums with the buy run into the final four. And here's our grade eight bracket. Nate Dog versus Surge. Mr. Diva versus TG. Foxy gets away from Mikey P here. Unfortunate for Mikey P. He's definitely done some work. Got that time in, hashtag time in. Getting really good. But these courses with these barriers, they are collidable objects on the track. And you can get a little bit of points by tapping them, but if you go a little too overboard, they will eat your car alive, as we've seen in previous rounds. So let's get into the action. Here we go. Final tournament of the night. Surge, what you got? This entry is really tight. Goes into a nice little easy chicane, but these barriers are just begging to be touched. Unfortunately though, Surge gets a little too close on the inside and Nate Dog sends a beeline off the track. Now waiting for Nate Dog to get back in the lead. Baze is right there into the lead right now into this last chicane off to a left hand sweeper i think surge might take advantage for that because nate dog took himself out now switching it up slow creep into the start surge is doing pretty well with a rx7 fd big big transition really clean Gets into the barriers, but still still maintains trip. Nate Dog's gonna want to pin it on the door here as soon as he gets a chance into this final transition. Let's see if he can do it with the last and final blow. Who's gonna make their way into the final four? Great lead run from Surge. Having a real good showing. Dominating our season veteran here with 167. Good job, Mikey P. I mean, Mr. Diva, 69. Nice. Bringing out the Rome Shopping TA E36 against TG's BMW E92. Let's see what he's got. TG's trying to creep on into that door. Getting a little too aggressive. Has to shut on the brakes. Big transition from Mr. Diva. Really good outside line here. TG just gets a little bit closer. Just showing him who's boss and why he's on the top of these leaderboards. Big transition from Mr. Diva. Almost spins himself out. TG is right there to react and adapt ever so quickly. What an amazing flick. That's probably our flick of the day there from Mr. Diva. It was it a chaseable lead run? It's quite considerable. Considerable. It's quite... <clears throat> You can consider that a chaseable lead. He did not slow down too much, I'd say, but that will win our flick of the day, if I can say so myself. He maintained drift there. Moderate, low to high speed, but still maintained a clean lead run for TG to suck up right there on the door. Let's get a nice slow-mo of that. One more time. Big angle from Diva. That's our flick of the day right there. Great job for TG. From Look at that transition. Just lets him creep on by. All right, so next battle up here. Mr. Diva with the flick of the day. Let's see if you can take down our leaderboard points leader. All right, trying to get into striking distance here. Rocking the Nexons here. I don't know if he's going to get enough grip to creep on up. He has going to cut the track here. He knows he doesn't have the grip. 
using it to a disadvantage. All right, TG is just getting away from him right here. Clean lead run from TG. Showing us how it's done. So Mr. Diva might not be able to take on this podium, but he does get our flick of the day. Congratulations, Foxy and Mikey P. MB battle once again. These guys are just getting so much seat time with each other. Unfortunately, no chase run from Mikey P, so we're going to have to skip this one off. Oh, man. All right, into our final four battle. Let's watch Shugums and Foxy. <clears throat> this one's for them all the marbles. Who's going to be the champ of Pike's Peak? Shugums, our newcomer here, newest member here on MB, looking really strong in this Toyota Supra. But Oh no, just sends it way too hard. Gets caught up on those barriers. Trying to play catch up. Foxy here trying to get away into these final S turns. Doing a real good job. Mid to high line. Gets that barrier down at the end. Neo, how he's going to do in these final blocks here. Gets a good outer zone sweep on that one. A little mistake there from Shugums in the chase. <coughs> Man, you guys gave me heated. Let's take a look at that. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> My voice is starting to go, but this action is going nowhere. We still got a few more battles to go, Mikey. MB Foxy gets also caught up on the bumper of Shugum's. <clears throat> Does a good job here, regaining composure. Shivam's left foot breaking into the final S turn, into this last final left hand sweeper. Gets these Falcon tires roasted on those barriers. Great job. Simple, similar mistakes from both of these drivers. It'll come down to the lead runs. It looks like Shivam gets away with it. Here we go with Surge and TG in the last bracket of the final four. Suspects TG making his way into the finals again. Jeez. We're stacking him up. He's just taking him down. All right. Big aggressive flick here from TG. Getting on that door of Surge as he surges into the pocket. No pun intended. All right. Maybe a little bit. But Surge is doing a great job in this lead run, but just not able to have the pace to get away from our leader, TG. Packing up such a performance in these builds. He's got the tuning, the grip, the style, the fitment. He's got the whole package and if he can just maintain a solid read run. He's going to be stepping into the finals here, but taking nothing away from Surge, doing a really good job hanging with our top dog here for his first time joining. Everyone, GG's in the chat for Surge, putting on an amazing showing for a newcomer here on the TDC. It's going to be Shugums and TG in our final battle. Give it up. <clears throat> on your feet. Grid live, Pike's Peak. All right, big wide entry from STG. Almost gets off the track here. Really comes close to these barriers. Oh my goodness, my anxiety is through the roof. Here comes Shugums though, taking a stab at the leader. Getting this proximity. A little mistake from TG. Here comes the nerves down to the final battle. These little hairline cracks are just gonna be busted wide open if there's anything wrong with everyone's strat here. We gotta keep it trunk tight. No mistakes, do the same run that you've been doing all night. But it is the finals. The nerves are really coming into play. You can just start to see everyone's run start to unravel here. Sugar's just looking really solid up until this point. 
hopefully can put on a lead run here for TG, but a TG is just breathing down the back of this Toyota Supra. My goodness, what an amazing battle, guys. Let's get one more cinematic replay for that one. <clears throat> Shilgums, man, hats off to you, man, taking on our leader here. That mistake might have been the final nail in the coffin for Alpine Sly. Those barriers do not forgive anyone. But, man, such a demanding track. Tons of transitions. So many barriers. Relatively flat, so you don't have to worry about any of the elevation changes. But the replay does not lie. Congratulations to our winner. TG, shocker. No, nah, TG earns every bit of acc accolade he deserves. He puts in so much work. And you got to beat the best to be the best. And as you can see, he is the one with the target on his back. So congratulations. Thanks again to all our players for showing up. Now, you guys got a little data under your belt to... Take it back to the garage, back to the drawing board, and work on those tunes. And I could take some time to get my voice back, and we'll meet back here for another event, possibly Saturday. And then we'll release the final schedule for the official series where all these points will start to count, and you guys could rack them up to get yourself ranked up on the TDC series. Of course, we'll release all the, the rule books, the format, the scheduling, the track layouts, and everything, so you guys can prepare yourselves for that. We're going to do eight rounds on the Formula D circuit and eight rounds on the World Drift circuit in the game of Torque Drift, and yeah, I can't wait. It's a brand new series, a lot of new things, a lot of new players. Yeah, that's it, man. You guys are awesome. Thanks again so much, everyone, Mr. Diva. Mom's been slobbing, Lowski, everyone on Twitch, peace. Keep it sideways.